को पेट दे लगा Chefies, this is Chef Mom Rosebud. Welcome to my kitchen. Nako, I'm very excited today kasi ngayong araw na to, hindi tayo magluluto. Today, I will be baking for you guys. I know that it has been quite some time already since I last baked. Kaya naman, this episode is something that you should watch. At nakakatuwa pa kasi kasama ko ang number one partner natin sa kusina, ang Nestle All-Purpose Cream. Talaga namang malalevel up ang ating mga dishes, making it extra rich, extra thick, and extra creamy. Today, I'll be sharing with you this recipe. Ito ang Carrot Cake with Cream Cheese Frosting. Let's start baking! Siyempre, bago tayo mag-bake, nandito na yung mga ingredients in front of me. Don't worry, I'll be putting on the description box yung ating ingredients and recipe. And for more recipes like this, actually, pwede kayong pumunta sa createwithcream.ph. Marami kayong makukuwang mga recipes. Of course, that is the Nestle website. At pinainit ko na rin yung ating oven. I preheated it to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Or 160 degrees Celsius. So the first thing that we need, of course, kailangan natin ng mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you could use your hand mixer. Kung wala rin, pwede nyo namang gawing mano-mano. Medyo may effort nga lang. So ilalagay ko ngayon dito sa ating mixer, itong ating oil. Okay. I also have here three pieces of egg. Okay. There. And of course, our Nestle All-Purpose Cream. So for this, uh, for the cake base, ang kailangan natin na Nestle All-Purpose Cream is about one-fourth cup. Kailangan pag-baking precise ang ating mga ingredients. Pag sinabi dun ko, ano yung mga nakalagay sa measurement, kailangan yun talaga. Hindi labis, hindi kulang. Ang maganda naman syempre with Nestle All-Purpose Cream as our partner. Kasi itong recipe na to actually perfect for weekend bonding with your family. You could make this on a Thursday or on a Friday. Para naman during Saturday and Sunday, meron kayong special dessert. Kasi nga ang mga simple weekends with Nestle All-Purpose Cream magiging wow, wow weekend. Pero bago ang lahat, meron akong good news na gusto kong sabihin sa inyo mga ka-chefies. If you love baking, if it's your hobby, pwede nyo tong gawing bread and butter. And this is actually absolutely free. All you have to do is join the Nestle Homemakers Club page on Facebook. Ayan, click nyo yun. And you will get instant access to helpful business tips, mga expert advice, meron din dyan mga inspiring stories, and of course, all-out support from a community of like-minded people. Ilalagay ko dyan sa chat box yung link. I-click lo lang yan at mag-join na kayo. And of course, follow nyo rin ang Instagram and Facebook page ng Nestle para naman ma-update kayo kung ano bang mga bago at ano mga nangyayari. Okay, so let's just place this here also sa ating mixing bowl. And okay, we will mix this. Until maging light and fluffy siya, mga around um, for 6 minutes. Okay, so lagay ko lang. Ayan, pag medyo light na siya, we could now turn this off. And at this point, we will now be adding, <laughs> we will now be adding our sugar gradually. So pag sinabi kong gradual, dahan-dahan, wag ilagay all in lahat ng sabay-sabay. So, dahan-dahan ng paglagay dito. Okay, buksan na natin. And then, just gradually add it in. Ayan. So, we'll continue to whisk it or mix it until may incorporate yung sugar dito sa ating cream mixture. Okay, so, na-incorporate na natin yung ating sugar dito sa ating liquid ingredient. Pwede ko na muna itong patayin. Next thing that you need to do, we have here our dry ingredient. So, I have here ang ating all-purpose flour. I also have here baking soda, our um, cinnamon, and salt. So, lalagay lang natin siya lahat. All together. So, baking ingredients, the dry baking ingredients, put it all together. Ganun naman pag-baking talaga eh, di ba? Liquid ingredients and then the dry ingredients together. Ayan. So, let's just mix it. 
Siyempre, para siguradong makalat natin yung ating cinnamon and then, of course, the salt and the baking soda as well dun sa ating all-purpose flour. And then, we will slowly add it to our liquid ingredient. Okay? Subuksan natin to ulit. And then, slowly add. Again, gradual lang. There. So, while you're doing this, you scrape out the sides to make sure lang yung flour na napupunta sa gilid, isasama natin dun sa liquid ingredient. Okay? Then, let's continue. So, at this point, pwede na natin itong patayin. We don't want to overmix kasi pag na-overmix din yung batter, ang tendency niyan titigas yung cake. So, pwede na patayin. Doon sa mga kasyefis natin na nanonood na hindi masyadong mahilig mag-bake or parang takot mag-bake, this is actually a recipe that you could try. Diba? First time bakers, pwede ito kasi madali lang siya. Actually, with baking naman talaga, you just need patience kasi nga it takes some kind of time. Diba? Like with cooking, Lagay mo na lahat dyan eh. Luto na yan. Ito, it will take time. So, mixing pa lang. And then, of course, baking it. And you have to make sure lang that all your ingredients are properly measured. Next thing that we need to do, ilalagay na natin yung mga iba pang ingredients. So, we have here our raisins. Okay. We have here our crushed pineapple. Of course, this one you could buy in can. We have here chopped walnuts. And, syempre, kaya nga carrot cake. We need, of course, our grated fresh carrots. So, let's just take that all. At, imimix natin dito sa ating bowl. So, we will just fold in our ingredients. So, when I say fold, you just cut it in the middle. Tapos, turn. And then, again, cut, turn. So, we will just mix it until... Makita nyo na well incorporated na yung ating mga ingredients dun sa ating cake batter. We don't wanna overmix like what I said kasi nga, it will become tough. Magpo-form ng gluten which will make your cake dry and hard. Okay, fold. So, just cut in the center and then go down again there. Okay, well incorporated na to. Pwede na natin ngayon ilagay sa ating cake pan. So, we have here our cake pan. This has been greased already with butter at meron ring parchment paper. So, next thing that you need to do, ilagay na natin itong ating batter sa ating prepared pan. So, very simple. Just dump it all in. So, just dump it all in. And let's just... Get that. Let's level it up. Level it up. Or level lang natin siya. <laughs> Yan. Okay, so this is ready to be baked. Dun sa ating preheated oven. We'll be baking this for 35 to 40 minutes. Tingnan natin siya. Basta pagka naging straight na kayo ng toothpick in the center and if it comes out clean, that means ready na yung ating cake. So, punta na muna ako dun. Okay, balikan ako kayo. Ayan, so habang nagbe-bake yung ating cake sa oven, gagawin na natin yung ating frosting. I have here our butter, cream cheese, and we also have our Nestle all-purpose cream. This one has been chilled. Kailangan i-chill nyo to. Chill lang. Ayan, chill nyo sa refrigerator. First is the butter. Lagay natin dyan sa ating mixing bowl. Naka-wire whisk attachment rin ako. Okay, and then our... Cream cheese na naka room temperature na para medyo malambot. We'll just open our mixer. Kailangan lang medyo mag-soften na yung ating cream cheese together with the butter. And now we're gonna be adding our Nestle all-purpose cream. Siyempre for the frosting, like what I said, it has to be chilled. And you need around two packs for our frosting. ba? Masaya to pang bonding ng pamilya nyo sa weekend. Kami kasi ng family ko, pag weekends, we usually have our movie nights together. So, diba? Tapos, syempre, pagka nagmo-movie nights, meron mga chips, diba? Syempre, masarap din meron masarap na dessert. And of course, like what I said, magiging wawa weekend with our Nestle All-Purpose Cream. So, diba? Paano nyo pinasasaya ang mga weekends ninyong family? Diba? Share nyo naman. Mag-comment kayo dyan. How do you make your weekends more special with the family? Of course, we have to 
always make sure that we spend quality time with the people we love most. Ayan, so well mixed na yung ating all-purpose cream with our cream cheese and our butter. Now we will slowly and gradually add our powdered sugar dito sa ating cream cheese frosting. Ano lang dapat siya, low speed, lagay natin siya. Slowly. So we'll just continue to mix this hanggang maubos yung ating powdered sugar dito sa ating cream cheese frosting. And then again, let's turn it off and let's just scrape the sides. And just continue mixing until ma-incorporate na yung ating powdered sugar dito sa ating frosting. Okay, so well incorporated na yung ating powdered sugar with the rest of the ingredients na ating cream cheese frosting. I could now turn this off. Tapos ilalagay ko lang siya sa chiller. Palalamigin ko lang for around 30 minutes. Tapos babalikan na natin yung ating carrot cake kung bake na ba. So, papakita ko sa inyo what we're gonna do next. Okay, so bake na yung ating carrot cake. Kinuha siya from the oven at syempre medyo pinalabig ko na muna para mas mabilis natin siyang ma-handle. And now, let's take it out from the baking pan. Okay, and then we will slice it horizontally in half. Kasi nga, pagpapatungin natin siya with the frosting. Yung frosting nasa ref lang, kukunin ko na rin siya in a little while. So just slice it off like so. Okay, so just put frosting on top. Tapos parang isa sandwich natin siya between the two layers of cake. Tapos kunin na natin tong isa pang layer and we will place it on top. So dahan-dahan lang syempre. Have to make sure na hindi mag-break yung ating cake. There you go. And then we'll just cover this with our frosting. Ayan, covered na ang ating cake. As you can see, medyo lang um, nag-melt yung ating frosting and that is fine. That's normal. So, we'll just let this stay in the chiller again for around 30 minutes before we slice it para talagang kumapit yung napakasarap natin na cream cheese frosting sa ating carrot cake. Pabalikan ko kayo. Eto na mga ka-chefies, tapos na ang aking carrot cake with cream cheese frosting using, of course, ang ating Nestle All-Purpose Cream. So, I really hope that you enjoyed watching today's video. Sana ay may natutunan kayong bago. And of course, I would like to encourage you all to try out these recipes. And if you want more recipes like this, like what I said earlier, just check out createwithcream.ph para makakuha pa kayo ng mga iba't ibang klase ng recipes. Again, mga ka thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and to share this video. Of course, kung di pa kayo subscribe mag-subscribe na rin kayo. Ito na, ang favorite part ko. Tiki man time! So, mag-slice lang ko. Maliit lang. Ayan. Unahan ko na yung pamilya ko <laughs> bago pa nila tikman. Ayan, oh, very creamy, very thick. And very rich. Wow, look at that. Exciting. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Winner recipe. I'm sure na mag enjoy kayo nito sa inyong weekends with family. Thank you mga ka See you again next time. Mmm. Harap.